Some of the challenges in our company is the landscape, the utilities changing. Um, a lot of disruption in the utility industry right at this point in time. And uh, in order for us to sustain a business model, we need to be innovative and be thinking about the disruptions that, that is coming and how we're going to manage that. Um, innovation is not something that really is in our DNA as a utility that's been around for 100 years. So this was um, an opportunity to find ways to get outside my comfort zone and start thinking out of the box about some things that we could do differently at the utility. And in order for us to be more innovative in the future, uh, one of the takeaways I have is to, is to talk to my team about, we spend a lot of time in the green light zone, being very comfortable with what we're doing. You don't even have to use your brain a lot of days to get things done. It's just rote uh, learning and it's just applying what we what we know. So we need to make ourselves a bit more uncomfortable. We need to put ourselves in positions where we can grow and develop. And that's one of the general learnings I would take away is we need to spend more time outside of our comfort zone and working in areas where we thought we're doing things we didn't think we could, thinking in ways we hadn't thought before. So the experiential learning has been, it's new for me. Um, I'll tell you if they, if someone had told me five weeks ago that I would be an actress in a play or if someone had told me that I would be negotiating uh, uh, with others. I don't know if I would have signed up but because that's not necessarily something that I enjoy doing but I do believe that you know the, the concept that that's been used here around we learn the concept and then we immediately apply it it's not like role playing you're actually in the moment doing the work and it feels real like real life and it's been an excellent opportunity to apply the learnings and i really do think it's going to be different than other courses i've gone on where you sit in a classroom you get the material and you go home and go back to what you did before so i really do believe this is going to be a way to apply the learnings going forward so the five weeks away is a huge commitment and i was worried about it initially I worked with my team to talk about what would happen while I was away and we anticipated the things that we could anticipate. Um, interestingly enough, the number of emails and the contacts have gone down considerably over the four weeks that I've been here. I, I hope they remember me when I go back, <laughs> I'm sure they will, but they're doing really well on their own and it actually is going to give me an opportunity to reset when I go back and evaluate what I was doing versus what I should be doing, especially with this new learning. And I'll tell you the other thing about the five weeks that concerned me a little bit was spending so much time. You know, we eat breakfast together here, we eat dinner together here, we eat supper together here, there are things planned in the evening for us, and we spend the whole day together. And I was worried about that because I thought, hmm, that's, that's a lot of time to spend with people that I don't know. But last night, nothing was planned, and I was emailing people saying, do you want to go out for a walk? Could we go downtown could we do something so it's it's um, we've developed a really nice community and group of people here that I've made lifelong friends so the AMP faculty uh, top-notch faculty they they have gone through some experiential learning themselves and have done some pretty remarkable things there's a very good mix of theory but also practice. You know, some of the adventures that the professors have been on and are, are able to articulate and, and talk about leadership and, and how different leadership styles are important, uh, I think that's probably the most important thing that I've experienced when I've been here.